Hello, how are you? This is stage six of our CVC program. Uh, we're covering vowel digraphs in this one. This one gets quite tricky, which is why we've left it to stage six. So the first stages one to five are dealing with CVC digraphs. Um, so your consonant digraphs like sh, ch, um, and then through to C, C, V, C, C. Then we've come back uh, because these are actually taught between four year old and seven years old. So to year one. Um, so we've gone and dealt with this as, you know, one whole stage. There are a lot of references in this just because there are so many ways to spell um, the one sound. And then they are the same spellings, but sound differently. Yes. So I'm just going to shift this out the way. So I've started uh, from the beginning here. I've used loads of pictures. So much work has gone into this one. Um, as far as research as well, I'll just stop there for a sec. I've included... Um, my research in here as well to hopefully this makes more sense to you both as teachers and as parents and homeschoolers um so my background's in teaching i did a bachelor of education kindy tier seven we weren't taught this stuff so many teachers aren't taught this um to hear and focus on and teach the different sounds in words i think we did one unit as far as you know your little letters with the dots on top and the lines and whatnot i just didn't get that at all if teachers were taught this this would be huge in classrooms um so again this isn't so much um a program that you would then take into the classroom and teach this is to add on to the programs that are already out there and to just get a deeper understanding of how our language is built Yes, and how these sounds, um, to be able to hear the sounds, choose the right sounds, see the patterns in the different words. So you've got all the words that I've included here, as well as the different sound groups. You've got your instructions, so what to do for each activity. So don't worry about that if you're not sure. I've made it as straightforward as possible. Um, I've learned heaps doing this as well. You've also got the references here. Um, this is, so four to five-year-olds, the blue ones. And then five to seven-year-olds are the orange ones I've highlighted here. I haven't even dealt with anything over that year one age. Um, that gets messy. I don't have that in front of me, but that's included in here as well. I've picked out, you know, three different ways to spell the A sound. Um, there's a ton more of them. Yeah. So hopefully including these references, I mean, for teachers, they're worth their weight in gold, although they don't weigh much. So that saying doesn't really work for that, but hopefully you know what I mean. All right. So going back to the beginning, just bumped it. Let me shift. Oh, you don't need to see one page at a time. So we've got our A sound. So these are dealing with long vowel sounds. Um, the only short one that we deal with in here is oot for cook and book, which comes later. Chook, wood, foot, woof. Okay, going back here. So we're starting with A. So we've got the A-Y spelling hey, day, tray, play, um, with digraphs as well. So these are CV words, CCV, CCV. So A tends to be at the end of the word. I don't think you'll find one where it's not. We've got A as in rain, train, paint, mail. This is what you want to be doing with your little ones as well. Just going over these words and hearing that sound or pointing to that sound in the middle here. It's bold as well. Uh, we've got A with your sneaky E or magic E or secret E or whatever you want to call it. Um, you can draw a bridge under there if you want to. Hang on. So I've got my pen here. So we've got whale, gate, plate, tape, and paper towel. I want to wipe that clean so I don't make a mess of the rest. Um, most of these, I've only laminated one page, I think, as well as the cutouts. Um, so there's not a huge amount of cutting and laminating in this one. I've just put them in these folders and it makes them wipe clean. We've got the E sounds, B, tree, feet, three. So there you go. Now, E can come at the end of the word. It can also be in the middle. So this one's a CVC word. This one is a CCV because this is a digraph as well, as is the E. We've got E again for T, meet, see, east. E again in baby, bunny, city, body. This will always be at the end of the word, this E. There'll always be a vowel in here too, I'll cover that later. Um, we've got the E again, these Swede theme delete. Some of the pictures aren't gonna be as straightforward because it just gets hard, but um, hopefully it makes sense. And you've always got this as a reference, so I've kept the pictures the same throughout the activities, um, just so for that consistency, and you've got this to refer to if you're not sure what the word is. We've got I for night, flight, bright, right. 
I for fly, cry, sky, fry. Now this I at the end of the word looks the same as this E at the end of the word. We'll cover that again soon. Where did I get to? Here, I for tie, fried, pie, cries. This one we've included suffixes because that's the only way you get the I, E in the middle of the word. Um, otherwise, I haven't dealt with suffixes yet. That will be stage eight, six. So seven will be R control vowels. We haven't dealt with that here either. So that's coming next. We've got I again for bike, knife, five, hive. Then we've got our O for foam, coat, loaf, road. O for row, window, toe, snow. Again, coming at the end of the word. And then O again for so. This is the only word in our language with the O spelt E-W, which also makes the O sound. Again, we'll deal with that soon. Oh, here, we'll deal with it now. Um, so this one, you've got your U. So we're sounding the Y before the U. This one doesn't sound the Y. So you'll see in a sec. So we've got few, Jew, flu, screw which is the same as this, ooh, cube, tube, ute, tune, uh, cute, tune, sorry. Then we've got the ooh, so there's no y sound in front, yeah? So we've got ooh for food, roof, boot, boot, igloo, and dude, flute, nude, prune. Now these two are tricky, yes? Because they look the same, they're not the same. So you may need to go over these a couple of times to start hearing that difference. So dude, cube. And your, your mouth um, forms differently for those two. Yes? Have a go with them. And then we've got our, uh, which looks like O as well. Um, these ones do come in the middle of the word, sometimes at the beginning and at the end as well. So you how now, brown cow. So owl for brown, cow, clown, owl. Owl for house, mouse, ouch, couch. Then we've got our oi and oi, oi for coin, boil, soil, oink, oi for toy, annoy, enjoy, boy. That was really hard getting photos for, pictures for. And then, so hang on, let me go back to the beginning. Up until here, it's been looks different, sounds the same. Other than that exception there, looks the same, sounds different. So then we're going into looks the same, sounds different. So we've got our u, u, and u. Yeah, I didn't even know this was a separate sound, didn't pay attention. Um, it occurs because there's an all at the end of this one. So it changes that sound. So we've got chook, wood, foot, woof, oo for food, roof, boot, igloo, oo for school, oh no, all, sorry, for school, pool, cool, and tool. And then, this is the one I mentioned before with your Y at the end. Now this is a consonant. In this case, it's not a digraph either, but it's a, uh, same with this one. Sorry, just pointing that out. I am aware, trigraph. I wasn't gonna rename it for all the different exceptions. Um, so this represents as a vowel, yes? Because it's an E and an I. So E for baby, bunny, city, body. I for fly, cry, sky, and fry. And then we've got all, which technically is an R controlled vowel. It's dealt with at the very beginning, um, same as these sounds. I think I'll just include that in the next pack as well. So we've got all for ball, full, small, and tall. So this is our reference. This is the first activity, just going through them, hearing the sounds. Um, that may be too overwhelming to go through all of them at once, particularly at the early stages. I would definitely use this to consolidate um, the actual program that you're using in schools and to do it for homework with your little ones. Yeah, um, and they're not gonna have trouble in general with all of them. So you can pick out the ones that they're actually struggling with to hear the sound and with spelling as well. Um, this is gonna take forever to cover all of these. I wanted to go through them so you can actually hear the sounds. So the next activity, we've put it into the CVC boxes, although they're not all CV, uh, CVC words. So this one's CV, that's CCV. This one's CVC. But to break it up to actually sound out each sound in the word, so t, r, a, h, a, to see the similar sounds and the spellings. So I've picked two from all the ones we just covered here from each section. Yeah, I won't go through all of them because I have just said them all with you. Um, on the video, if there's any questions, ask me. If there's any feedback, let me know as well. 
So I'll just show you them. So that's the next activity. Again, reference for you to look at. Then we move to this activity. So I've put them all into display folders um, just because I don't want to laminate them all. That's a buttload of laminating. If you want to sit there and do it, then go ahead. But these are perfectly fine and it took like two minutes to put all the sheets in. It makes them wipe clean as well and you can just store them easily. Yeah. So for this one, we are getting our vows or you can write if your little one's confident. Um, you can also, so I know these ones are A sounds, so I can then pull out the A sounds in here. Yeah, or to make it trickier, put a whole stack of sounds there. Sorry, I should have got this ready before. Uh, where are my A's? You can also use these cutouts and just run through the sounds. Yeah, so E, E, Oi, Y, uh, not Y, I, I. Um, I'm still trying to get my A sounds. U, E, Oi, It, I, A, there we go. So are we good? That's one, two, three. Can you see them there? Yes. Okay. So I can try this train. I know that one goes here. Train. My tray one is this one. Yes. Same with hay. So this one allows you to manipulate and move around the different sounds to try them, see how they look. Um, I know that AY a goes at the end of the word, so male probably not going to be spelt this way. Does that make sense how you can um, use these? Hopefully with the video, I mean, I can't, there's so much you can do with this pack. I'm not going to be able to cover it all in 15 minutes, um, but hopefully I can show you the different ways of using it. Yes. If your little one is confident or after you've done this a few times, you can then use this and leave them to fill out the sounds. Yeah. Um, so that's again all the words that were covered in the last two activities that I showed you. Although three, two, small and bold. And then we've got this one. So I'm gonna shift them out the way and shift you as well, just give myself some more space. Oops, there goes my paper towel. All right, so for this one, we're going to go through and circle the correct spelling. So you can do this as a sheet like this, um, and just use your marker. So I know tray, because I've done the activities already, is spelt with the A-Y spelling, hay, train, mail, whale, and tape. But I've also done it, I like this way as well. So I've cut it into strips. These ones I have laminated, and you can use it with this activity. Oh, sorry, with the dotted thirds. So whale. Um, I could spell it that way. It doesn't look right. I could spell it that way. I know that goes at the end, so that doesn't look right. Or I could try it this way. So we've got our AE, this one here. So I know these ones are no good. And I'll write it again just to practice the correct spelling. There you go. Yeah. And then, so I haven't cut up all of them here, but I've got a range of different ones. This one allows you to work on, say, the A sounds to start with, the E sounds another day, so on and so forth. Yes? All right, I am running out of time. I'm going to wipe this off. So the next activity, which is the last one included in this pack. So this one, I have deleted the boxes. Um, that just helps as far as knowing how many sounds are in the word. Yeah. And we are just spelling t, r, a, each word. H, a. So this as well with the, like breaking it up into the boxes, we are segmenting by breaking up the sounds. And then by reading it together, t, r, a makes tray. We are then blending and reading. Yes. All right, I'm not going to go through any more because um, I've been through enough and hopefully I've given you enough to go on on how to use these activities. Yes, if you have questions, let me know um, and then I can probably do a second video with, you know, follow up. All right, I hope that makes sense. Enjoy your day. Talk to you soon. See ya.